remain standing. I am pleased to introduce Alyssa M. Jordan of the class of 2001, who will sing the Star Spangled Banner. Who say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there who oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the Thank you, Alyssa. On behalf of the Bristol Community College Board of Trustees, the faculty, staff, and the class of 2000, I am pleased to open the 33rd annual commencement exercises of Bristol Community College. Please be seated. I will now introduce the members of the platform party. Please withhold your applause until all the names have been read. I will ask each person to stand as I read your name. To my left, Mr. James Clarkin, Chairman of the Board of Trustees. Mr. John Almeida, Vice Chairman of the Board of Trustees. Sister Kathleen Harrington, Member of the Board of Trustees. Mr. David Feeney, Dean of Academic Affairs. To my right, Dr. Ruth Sherman, Dean of Continuing Education and Community Services. Mr. Arthur Paul, President of the Bristol Community College Alumni Association. Dr. Richard Sobel, Dean of Administrative Services. Dr. Ken Kelly, Dean of Student Affairs. In the second row to my left, Mr. Ralph Sanford, Professor of Commuter Information Systems and Grand Marshal of the Academic Procession. Mr. Richard B. Wolfson, Secretary of the Board of Trustees. Dr. David Greer, member of the Board of Trustees, Ms. Joanne Souza, member of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Barry Traxler, member of the Board of Trustees. In the second row to my right, Mr. John P. Soret, Jr., member of the Class of 2000 and valedictorian, Ms. Jenny Catherine Williams, the student trustee and member of the Class of 2000, Mr. John Long, member of the Board of Trustees, <clears throat> Mr. Raymond LaVertue, Assistant Dean for Behavioral and Social Sciences. In the third row to my left, Ms. Carol Barabee, Professor Emerita of Nursing. Ms. <laughs> Ms. Lois Shea, Professor of Nursing. Ms. Maureen Sylvia, Dean of Resource Development. Dr. Karen Dixon, Assistant Dean for Developmental Education. Mr. Gerald LePage, Assistant Dean of Mathematics, Science, and Engineering. In the third row, to my right, Ms. Deborah Lawton, Assistant Dean for Language, Humanities, and the Arts. Dr. Godwin Araguzo, Assistant Dean for Business and Information Management. Mr. Edward Sheehy, Professor Emeritus of Business Administration. Dr. Hope Burns, Assistant Dean for Health Sciences. Mr. Stephen Caron, member of the Board of Trustees. 
please give these. I would also like to introduce and thank our two American Sign Language interpreters, Ms. Sandra Ligren and Ms. Madeline Auger. And I'd like to ask you at this time to recognize the Bristol Community College faculty and staff, whom I would ask to stand, whose fine teaching and support have made this commencement possible for our graduates. Several members of the faculty and professional staff who have rendered many years of devoted service to BCC are retiring this year. I would ask them to stand and be recognized. With 32 years of service, Elon Vieira, Professor of Office Administration. With 32 years of service, Lawrence Drayton, Institution Maintenance Foreman. With 29 years of service, James Crossan, Director of Placement. With 27 years of service, Frank Noble, Director of Admissions. With, with 19 years of service, Merle Coughlin, Director of the Adult Learning Center. With 16 years of service, Dolores Ketchy, EDP Entry Operator. With 12 years of service, Simone Kamir, Staff Associate. And with 10 years of full-time service and 16 years of part-time service, Patricia Massey, Associate Professor of Dental Hygiene. <laughs> Members of the platform party, my colleagues on the faculty and staff, families and friends of the graduates, and especially members of the class of 2000, I'm delighted to welcome you to these 33rd commencement exercises. It is my privilege to bring to you graduates the greetings of our college community and to express to you the great pride we all feel in your achievements today. You join the more than 20,000 alumni of BCC today, and you have the distinction of being the first graduating class of the new millennium. <laughs> in coming to college and staying the course to earn your degree and certificate, you've done something truly important, not only for yourselves, but for all of us. For education remains the best way for individuals to improve their lives and for communities to improve their economic and social conditions. 35 years ago, when BCC was chartered by the state, its founders recognized the need to make access to a college education more available here in southeastern Massachusetts. But for all their foresight, they could not have imagined how much greater the need would be at the dawn of the new millennium with its extraordinary changes in technology and the globalization of the world economy. These sweeping worldwide changes have far-reaching implications for you as workers and as citizens. Whatever career you enter at any level, your jobs will depend increasingly on advanced technologies and skilled communications. You will need to continually reshape your skills, develop your talents, and expand your knowledge and cultural horizons to meet the demands of a 21st century workplace. So I hope your time here has been a good investment in this lifelong process. But these changes will affect not only how you work, but also quite profoundly how you live and exercise your citizenship. Right now, we can pay our groceries, order our groceries, pay our bills, visit a doctor, and take courses on the World Wide Web, all without leaving our homes. Our cell phones, PCs, and digital gadgets <laughs> can connect us instantaneously with anyone anywhere in the world. And yet, even though we are more technically connected than ever, studies show that we are less engaged with each other 
in civic and community activities than at any time in our history. We live in a time when a lonely hacker many miles away can send a love bug to disrupt governments and businesses around the world. Clearly, we need you as educated citizens to be informed and to participate to assure that these great technological advance advances are managed wisely and ethically and that their benefits are widely shared. In graduating today, you've achieved a milestone, one that I trust will accrue great benefits to you personally in the years ahead. But I hope that your education here will also accrue great benefit to our community as well. I hope it has engaged your desire to contribute in some way to making your community and our world a better place, a safer place, a more humanly connected place. I hope that BCC has given you the foundation and motivation to explore this brave new world with energy and courage. So I offer you my warmest congratulations on this day, and I hope that the years ahead will be richly rewarding for you in every way. Thank you. Each year at our commencement exercises, we recognize academic excellence by honoring those students who graduate from the college with an outstanding academic record. Students may graduate with honors, with high honors, or with highest honors. To achieve highest honors requires a minimum grade point average of 3.8 out of a possible 4.0. This year, a number of graduates have earned a straight A 4.0 average. I would ask each of these graduates to come forward to receive certificates of outstanding academic achievement. Keith Martin Allen. Melissa Ann Bento. Barbara A. Fontaine. Catherine Goulart. <laughs> Cheryl Gunderson. Janine Odette Haig. <laughs> Colleen Cublin. Talia Haley Medeiros. <laughs> Bridget Delia Michonsky Hooker. Alison Moriarty.
Jolene Monique Nicole Olivier. Angeline S. Rona. Paul H. Santos. John P. Soret, Jr. Elizabeth Sylvia. Carol Steele. Jennifer A. Sullivan. <laughs> Maria Teresa Wandry. Jenny Catherine Williams. <laughs> One of our straight A graduates, John P. Soret Jr. of Fall River, has been selected class valedictorian. John earned his high school diploma in 1982 at Diamond Regional Technical High School. Today, he is receiving his associate's degree in elementary education. John started his own business for several years after high school and has for some years been a custodial supervisor for the Diocese of Fall River. Throughout his adult life, he has been very active in community leadership activities, including the St. Vincent de Paul Society and Mass Perg at BCC. He coaches boys and girls basketball teams and girls softball teams and is a contributing sports writer for the Fall River Herald News. John has also been a religious education substitute teacher for 11 years and discovered through these activities that he loves to teach and work with children. John plans to continue his education at UMass Dartmouth and prepare for a teaching career. It's my pleasure to introduce our valedictorian, John Surrett, Jr. President Fawley, distinguished deans and faculty, honored guests, family and friends, my fellow graduates, good morning, and we did it. It is my distinct privilege and pleasure to address you here today on this happy and joyous occasion. It is truly an honor to have the unique opportunity to address Bristol Community College's first graduating class of the new millennium. A couple of weeks ago, when Dean Kelly advised me that I had been selected as class valedictorian, I was elated. But then, two humbling experiences occurred. First, my 13-year-old daughter burst my balloon by inventing a new nickname for me. She now calls me the valid custodian. <laughs> the second and more important was that I realized that I now had to deliver this speech. It has been constantly on my mind ever since. What could I possibly say that would connect to all the different types of students here at Bristol Community College? What is our common ground? What has this institution, our alma mater, meant to us? I knew I wanted to tell you how unique we are, 
It is not your typical college graduating class. Instead, we combine students of widely differing backgrounds of race, ethnicity, language, ability, and age from 18 to 80. And here we find the most important lesson taught at Bristol Community College, namely, that community is not just our middle name, but who we are. Our student body includes not only traditional students, but also a large number of non-traditional students who have held full-time jobs before and while attending college. And while the work we were doing provided our families and us with financial security, we wanted something more. And whether it was the possibility for greater financial rewards in the future, or simply for personal enrichment, we decided to return to college. Once enrolled, we all struggled to balance work, family, and school, and we all know how difficult it has been. The late nights of homework, for many of us that meant after the kids have been put to bed, the forcing yourself after a bad day at work to sit and cram for a test the following day, the sheer exhaustion of rushing from class to class after a poor night's sleep, whether from studying until the wee hours or because your child was up all night with a fever, the anxiety of wondering if it was all worth it. And yet, with hard work and dedication, we struggled through. And yes, it was worth it, because here we are today, graduating from college. Congratulations. But what does it mean to have a degree from this college? I mentioned in my opening the words alma mater, and I promise that this will be your last test question here at Bristol Community College. Does anyone know what the words alma mater mean? Good thing it wasn't on the final. <laughs> to me, it was just some obscure Latin phrase. However, when I looked up the definition of these two little words, I was so stunned that I almost dropped the dictionary. This was because I suddenly realized that an alma mater wasn't a what, it was a who. You see, alma mater, literally translated, means soul mother. Suddenly, it be had become much more personal. Taken separately, few words in English evoke such personal and precious emotions as the words mother and soul. Placed together, the words inspire something close to reverence, soul mother. The question then becomes, who is our alma mater? The answer is Bristol Community College. Like any good mother, she has given us roots by nourishing, instructing, and protecting us. While at the same time, she has given us wings and allowed us to make mistakes so that we may learn from them. At BCC, that who is made up of many individual parts, namely the faculty. I know I speak for the entire student body when I say, that the number one resource at Bristol Community College is the faculty. The caring and dedication of these special men and women are the reason we are here today. I would doubt that there is a student sitting here that does not have a story to tell about, about how a faculty member's personal attention inspired, encouraged, or supported him, and, him or her throughout these demanding years. Whether it was helping assignments, listening compassionately to our personal hardships, or offering professional advice. You, our teachers, were always there for us and attempted to kindle within us a desire for lifelong learning. We have nothing to offer you in return for these gifts except our heartfelt thanks and our promise to always follow your example. Thank you. Finally, I would also like to take this opportunity to, opportunity to speak about the education we have received here at Bristol Community College. Whether we are transferring on to a four-year institution or beginning a new career, the skills we have learned here will serve us well and can never be taken away. We have received an education that is second to none, and we are challenged to use these skills to better not only ourselves, but the world around us as well. As we use the foundation we have received here as a springboard into the future, we will become living examples to those around us of the importance of higher education, of the value of community colleges in general, and ambassadors at large for Bristol Community College. So as we go forth from this place today, remember to always speak of this institution with pride 
and promote its virtues to others, for she is our alma mater, our soul mother. I think George Nolan summed it up best. Commencement, he said, does not mean, as many wrongly think, the breaking of ties and the beginning of life apart. Rather, it marks your initiation in the fullest sense into the fellowship of the college as bearers of her torch, as centers of her influence, as promoters of her spirit. Graduates, today that torch has been passed on to us in the expectation that we will hold it higher and carry it further than those who have come before us. Thank you and congratulations once again, Bristol Community College, Class of 2000. Thank you for that beautiful message, John. I want you to know, John, though, that all the graduates knew what alma mater meant. They just didn't want to show off, so that was what I'm going to tell you. The 15th annual Edward Terrell Smith Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of Edward Terrell Smith, son of Edward and Mabel Smith, and a 1982 graduate of Bristol Community College. It is given each year to a graduating student of high personal integrity and academic standing who is planning to continue his or her education at another college. Bristol Community College is proud to present this scholarship this year to Dorothea Maynard from Swansea. I'm very pleased to announce the award of a number of transfer merit scholarships from eight area colleges and universities. As I read the name of each scholarship recipient, would you please stand to be recognized? The University of Massachusetts, Boston, announces the award of the Foster Furcolo Scholarship, which carries full tuition and fees to Edward Correa of Westport. The, Univer the University of Massachusetts, Dartmouth, announces the award of nine $2,000 per year scholarships for the following graduates. Keith Allen of East Taunton. <laughs> Kelton Barber of Fall River. <laughs> Nadia Barbosa of Fall River. Lisa Cardona of Fall River. Barbara Fontaine of Dighton. Allison Moriarty of Dartmouth. Grace Murphy of Fall River. John Soret Jr. of Fall River. Jenny Williams of Har Harwich. A UMass Scholars Program Scholarship with full tuition and fees to any UMass campus of the student's choice has been awarded to Anita Cherie Sloan of Westport. The University of Massachusetts Amherst announces the award of a $2,500 per year scholarship to Sandra Nunes of New Bedford. Bridgewater State College announces the award of a presidential scholarship which covers full tuition and fees to Rosemary Ross of Fairhaven. Bryant College announces the award of four $5,000 per year scholarships to the following graduates. Cynthia Araujo of Fall River. <laughs> Elizabeth Prairie of Rehoboth. 
Melinda Tabacus of Darth Dartmouth, Michelle Viveros of Fall River. Roger Williams University announces the award of nine scholarships. One $4,000 Dean's Scholarship has been awarded to Jason Martin of Warren, Rhode Island. Six $6,000 Presidential Scholarships have been awarded to Elizabeth Duran of Swansea, Amanda Labor of Fairhaven, Kimberly Mateus of Fall River, Lynn Medeiros of East Taunton, Jason Pantic of Newport, Rhode Island, Michael Troya of Westport, and two $7,000 Phi Theta Kappa scholarships have been awarded to Glenn Jefferson of North Dighton, Jennifer Sullivan of Sonnet. The New England Transfer Association announces one $1,000 scholarship to Jenny Williams of Harwich. And the following students are Bristol Community College's nominees to the All USA Academic Team. Each will receive a $500 scholarship funded by the Bristol Community College Foundation. Rosemary Ross of Fort Fairhaven. And Jenny Williams of Harwich. There may be other graduates who have received transfer merit scholarships to other colleges and universities that we did not learn about in time for this ceremony. And to you, we offer our congratulations as well. Each year, more and more colleges and universities are offering scholarships to meritorious Bristol Community College students. So we're very delighted about that. Pretty soon, the list will be getting too long to read them all at graduation. But we're very pleased and proud of the students who received these scholarships. This year, we are honoring three of our outstanding former faculty members, Maria Argy, Carol Berebi, and Edward Sheehy, by designating them as professors emeriti. These individuals are selected for this honor by their faculty peers. I'm pleased now to introduce Deborah Lawton, who will read the citation for Professor Emerita Maria Argy, who could not be present today. Ms. Lawton will accept the medal and citation on Professor Argy's behalf. Ms. Lawton. Maria Argy, Professor Emerita of English. Possessing an old world realism and new world generosity, you treated the students in your charge like members of your extended family. A popular but demanding teacher, your high standards and love of the ancient Greek classics led hundreds of students down challenging scholarly roads. Your strong enthusiasms and broad understanding of the world, coupled with your mentoring of international students, kept the issues of our planet constantly before our colleagues and your students. You made Bristol Community College a brighter, more diverse, and more inclusive place. I'm pleased now to introduce Lois Shea, more familiarly known to you as Toby Shea, Professor of Nursing, who will read the citation for Professor Emerita Carol Berebi. Carol Berebi, Professor Emerita of Nursing. Dedicated to student success, you taught with a flair that captured your students' attention and empowered them to master difficult concepts. You created a peer tutoring system that enabled current students to profit from the experience of those who had gone before, and you could often be found tutoring students in the finer points of the nursing care plan. 
An exemplary practitioner you model for both your colleagues and your students how a practitioner can combine exceptional skills and insightful understanding of patients to become a truly great nurse as you are. Congratulations. I'd like to introduce now Mr. Godwin, Dr. Godwin Araguzo, Assistant Dean for Business Information and Management, who will read the citation for Professor Emeritus Edward Sheehy. <laughs> Edward Sheehy, Professor Emeritus of Business Administration charged with instruction of one of business's most challenging fields, you found the perfect pedagogical balance in the classroom and made accounting easy to comprehend. Through your exceptional teaching and insightful understanding of human nature, you guided hundreds of students through minefields of business balance sheets and profit and loss statements. Collegial and involved in college governance, you were a leader in business curriculum development. Countless students have gone on to the workplace fortified by solid knowledge and ability that contribute to the strength of our region's economy. Congratulations. Thank you. Good morning. The Board of Trustees of BCC, in recognition of more than 21 years of dedicated service to Bristol Community College in southeastern Massachusetts, voted to bestow on Eileen Farley the title of President Emerita. President Farley, please join me as I read the citation. The citation reads as follows. Eileen T. Farley, President Emerita, Bristol Community College. For more than two decades, you built upon the sturdy foundation of Bristol Community College and created a vast and prosperous enterprise that is deeply woven into the fabric of this community. Under your leadership, the college turned its vision outward to better reach those with few options for achieving an education by expanding adult literacy, enriching services for poor and disadvantaged students, and empowering the unemployed and others who need workplace skills. A renowned champion for quality public education, you have been its impassioned advocate. You committed yourself to cajole and to convince, conveying and communicating to all manner of people, from the high school dropout to the President of the United States, that education is a vital resource and that the people of this region deserve the finest community college. Elegant, poised, and endowed with a grand facility for words and ideas, you brought to Bristol Community College grace and power that will be part of the tapestry that is southeastern Massachusetts for generations to come. June 3rd, 2000. But we're not through. <laughs> Nor should we be. As a lasting tribute to President Farley's service to the college and community, the Bristol Community College Board of Trustees have voted to name the Learning Resources Center in her honor. To my left, I'm pleased to officially recognize the naming of the Eileen T. Farley Learning Resources Center.
Thank you very much. Thank you. It, cer it certainly has been a great privilege for me to serve BCC as its president, and I'm truly honored by this recognition. I want to express my thanks to the board, to the faculty and staff and students for their support during these many years. The 22 commencements I've presided over have been among the most satisfying and happy days of my career here, but I will certainly especially remember this commencement. commencement. I feel a special, very special bond with the class of 2000. I've already been uh, incorporated into the nursing class of 2000. They gave me a pin and a cap. So I'm an official member of the class of 2000, and I, I thank you all. I would like now to introduce Mr. John Almeida, Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees, to present the Bristol Community College Distinguished Citizen Award for the year 2000. Mr. Almeida. Thank you, President Fowley, and good morning, my soon-to-be fellow alumni. I would like to present the year 2000 Bristol Community College Distinguished Citizen Award. Each year, the Board of Trustees honors an individual who has made a distinguished contribution in the field of health, education, business, labor, government, or the arts, and whose character and achievements have enriched the lives of our community. This year, the Board has selected James W. Clarkin, attorney in Fall River, and retiring chairman of the Board of Trustees to receive this award. I would like Mr. Clarkin to join me at the podium at this time. <clears throat> the Board of Trustees hereby names James W. Clarkin the distinguished citizen for 2000. A citizen for the millennium, you understand that education and a love of learning enrich individuals in society. As chairman of the Board of Trustees at Bristol Community College for nearly a decade, you are an ardent college champion, tirelessly presenting its case to government officials and opinion leaders. A devotee of literature and a well-turned phrase, you endeavor to ensure that all people have access to an education rich in the treasures of the liberal arts. Your influence and commitments reach far beyond the college. A member of the Massachusetts Bar and an officer of the court, you commit yourself to mediating disputes and to creating solutions that work. Active in the community, you participate in local events in order to encourage economic development and to nurture the arts. Witty, urbane, and unabashedly outspoken, you demonstrate how intercession and involvement in our community can be practical and effective, given this third day of June 2000 at Fall River, Massachusetts. Thank you. I had misgivings about accepting this award. I'm really not very distinguished, but I checked my passport and I am a citizen, so I'm going to keep it. Uh, it had been my serious intention to stand here this morning and to grace you with a 20-minute discourse, which I thought was absolutely eloquent, on the ultimate meaning of life. However, I haven't figured it out quite yet, so I'm going to do something entirely out of character. I'm simply going to thank my fellow trustees very distinguished faculty whom I will miss, the staff, the administrators here, the deans, for enduring me for nine years as chair. Having said that, I'm going to do something that very few lawyers have ever done. I'm going to sit down and shut up. Thank you very much.
I have to tell you that yesterday Mr. Clarkin phoned me to tell me that he was going to give a speech and that it was 17 minutes, would that be all right? So I mustered all my diplomatic skills <laughs> and I said, um, do you think you could make it 10 or 12? <laughs> So he really had me going there. But in any event, congratulations, Jay, and our thanks for a wonderful job as chairman in some of the very most difficult years of the college's history. You were a wonderful leader for the board and the college. Thank you. The President's Award, known as the Mason Shield, is presented each year to a graduate who has rendered the highest quality service to the college and who has demonstrated outstanding leadership. The selection is made by the Honors Committee, consisting of faculty, staff, and students. The name of the recipient is inscribed on a plaque which is located permanently at the college. The plaque is inscribed as follows, Mason Shield Award, Leadership and Character, Honor and Integrity, awarded by the college president to an outstanding student as voted by members of the college community. I am pleased to present the President's Award for the year 2000 to Jenny Catherine Williams of Harwich, Massachusetts. Today, as you graduate from Bristol Community College, and trust me, you are going to graduate very soon, <laughs> you become members of an active and esteemed organization, the Bristol Community College Alumni Association. Here to welcome you as full members of the association is Arthur Paul of the class of 1992, president of the BCC Alumni Association. Arthur. Thank you, President Folly. It is indeed my pleasure to welcome all of the graduates of Bristol Community College, Class of 2000. In a few moments, you'll cross this stage and become the newest members of the BCU Alumni Association. On behalf of the nearly 20,000 members of the Alumni Association, we offer you our congratulations on being the first graduating class of the new century. The Alumni Association's mission is to provide information and services to our alumni through educational, social, cultural, and networking activities. As an alumnus, you'll be given the opportunity to take an active role in assisting the association to fulfill its mission. As I'm sure you know, each year we increase our fundraising efforts so that we can provide more scholarships to current and transferring students. Also this year, we provided 11 grants to further enhance the services and programs offered at Bristol Community College. The class of 2000 has already participated in their first alumni fundraising activity. Your class gift will be designated to the Folly Endowment in honor of retiring present Eileen Folly. The income from this endowment fund will be used to purchase equipment and resource material for the Learning Resource Center, which benefits the entire community. A special thank you to everyone who donated to the class gift. The Alumni Association will keep in touch with you through a newsletter called Briefings. This newsletter will keep you informed of college activities as well as up to date with fellow classmates and the faculty. The Alumni Association is here to assist you in many ways and membership gives you certain privileges that would not otherwise be available to you. We ask that you become an active member of your Alumni Association and that you keep in touch with us no matter where your future endeavors take you once again, congratulations and welcome to the Bristol Community College Alumni Association. Thank you very much, Arthur. 
I now present Mr. James Clarkin, Chairman of the Board of Trustees, to authorize the conferral of degrees. Mr. Clarkin. As Chairman of the Bristol Community College Board of Trustees, I am honored to authorize Bristol Community College under the powers invested in the Board by Section 10, Chapter 15A of the General Laws of the Commonwealth to award the Associate in Arts and Associate in Science degrees and appropriate certificates to those candidates who, in the judgment of the college, have successfully met the requirements for graduation. On behalf of your trustees, let me extend our personal congratulations to each and every one of you, and our thanks again to a wonderful faculty and a wonderful administration. Congratulations. And now, Dean of Academic Affairs, David Feeney will present the candidates. Mr. Feeney. Would the candidates for graduation please rise? I have the honor to present these candidates for the degrees of Associate in Arts and Associate in Science and for the certificates. I certify on behalf of the faculty that those receiving their degrees today have completed all the requirements for each degree or certificate as set forth by the college and the Board of Trustees. Thank you, Dean Feeney. It is now time to award the degrees. Will the first row of graduates please come to the right side of the stage? The rest of the candidates may be seated. Graduates will cross the stage in the order indicated on the program. Will those taking photographs please move away from the front of the stage as quickly as possible to keep the area clear. And please withhold your applause until all the degrees and certificates have been awarded. I am pleased to announce the candidates in art transfer. Sean Matthew Corliss. Chikaj Cody. Michelle Gonancio. John Gilbert. Sunny Hurley, with honors. Jennifer Lee Leatherwood, with honors. Sean Paul Monroe. Mauro Sari, with highest honors. I am pleased to announce the candidates for business administration career. Deborah Aruda, with honors. Santa R. Azola. Rolanda M. Barboza. Melissa E. Borges, with high honors. Stacy L. Brassells. Elaine S. Bro. Esmeria T. Gabral. Mindy Ann Keju. Deborah M. Carrero, with honors. Lori A. Cavallo, with high honors. Gina M. Choate. Susan Rebecca Cordero. Holly L. Fraser. Fatima A. Gonzalez. Rachel Lynn Gilmet, with honors, also Thanatology Certificate. Sarah Ann Imbo, with high honors. Jeff Janikovich. Shannon T. Kelly, with high honors. 
Donna M. King with high honors. Nancy J. Landreville with high honors. Joseph LaPalm. George F. Leahy with honors. Norma Jean Lima with high honors. Lynn Marie Medeiros with high honors. Derek Mendes. Susan Pacheco with high honors. Jason Pantig with honors. Carl A. Parent. Jamie L. Peterson. Mary H. Rizuk. Cynthia M. Roderick with honors. Wendy Simmons with high honors. Denise Dion Tanzi with highest honors. Diane Venafro with honors. Stacy L. Watson. Glenn Allen Wardell. I am pleased to announce the candidates in business administration transfer. Cynthia M. Arujo with honors. Nadia Almeida Barboza with high honors. Sean P. Casavant with high honors. Jessica L. Correa with honors. Edward Correa with highest honors. Jessica Lee Farias. Chad Figueredo. Tammy J. Frias. Janice Gomes with honors. Evelyn S. Gonzalez. Isabel Reese Graham. Cheryl Gunderson with highest honors. Laurie A. Griffin with honors. John Stephen Leonard. Gary David Lombard with honors. Kevin P. Lopes. Jillian Elizabeth Martin with highest honors. Jessica L. Martins. Paul James Mercier with highest honors. Allison G. Moriarty with highest honors. Robert Murray. Patricia Marie Pimentel. Elizabeth Jean Pereri with highest honors. Shantine Rim. Matthew Rodericks. Melissa Julie Roshan. Melanie Sarah Santos. I am pleased to announce the candidates in child care. Sonia F. Carrero with honors. Cynthia De Silva with honors. Jill Ann Dias. Laurie Ann and Whistle with honors. Jennifer Michelle Hoffman. Denise Johnson with honors. Brenda Medeiros with honors. Sonia M. Medeiros. Diana J. Pereira with high honors. 
Melissa Reese with honors. Elizabeth Sylvia with highest honors. I am pleased to announce the candidates for civil engineering technology. Teresa Marie Barboza. Michael S. Calvin. Michael De Silva. Anthony Ferry with highest honors. Patricia A. Kelly with high honors. Jacob Michael Leahy. Jancine L. Monis with high honors. Benny B. Phillips. Linda S. Sylvia, also Aquaculture Certificate. Joanna A. Souza. I am pleased to announce the candidates for in clinical lab science. Bridget Patello with high honors. Lorraine J. Driscoll with honors. Laura Howard. Faith Humes. I am pleased to announce the candidates in communications. James Cravero. Rachel A. Rigo. Alyssa Soldani with honors. James H. Stearns III with high honors. I am pleased to announce the candidates in computer information systems. Carol Albert. Lori A. Bottle with honors. William G. Cudlitz with high honors. Robert DeCampos with high honors. George Ferreira. Wayne R. Gutierrez. Helene Jobert with high honors. Christopher J. Konchansky with highest honors. Talia Halley Medeiros with highest honors. Matthew S. Reynolds. Kenneth R. Souza with highest honors. Ronald R. Tavares with honors. Eric D. Thomas. Jeffrey S. Wallace with honors. I am pleased to announce the candidates in criminal justice. Nicole N. Aruda. Stacy A. Aruda. Amanda Marie Belden, also in Office Administration, with honors. Debbie Sue Darling, with honors. Joshua P. Foster. Mary Elizabeth Furtado, with highest honors. Timothy Giunta, with honors. Catherine Goulart, with highest honors. Melissa Marie Hoffman Lake. Stephen Paul Martin. Lynn J. Michaelazic, with high honors. Thomas Monis Jr., with honors. Jolene Monique Nicole Olivier, with highest honors. Rebecca L. Oliveira with honors. Paul H. Santos with highest honors. Richard Paul Sariva with highest honors. Jamie L. Stevens. 
Michael A. Troya with high honors. Jason G. Viveros with high honors. Sandra J. Young with honors. I am pleased to announce the candidates in dental hygiene. Leslie N. Bambury. Renee Marie Blanchard with honors. Billy Charlene Briggs, also in general studies. Jessica Lynn Brodeur. Karen A. Carrero. Angela D. Cody with honors. Amanda B. DuPont. Sharon E. Glossop. Stephanie K. Harding with high honors. Adrian V. Cuss. Janine Nicole Libertowitz. Hilda M. Magales with highest honors. Emma G. Malari Quinlan. Anna Olivier, high honors. Rachel A. Quintel. Lisa M. Roy with honors. Colleen Ann Shields. Carol Steele with highest honors. Colleen Margaret Walsh with high honors. I am pleased to announce the candidates for electromechanical technology. Peter J. Kerrigan III with highest honors. Ann Malinkowski. I am pleased to announce the candidates for electrical engineering. Mitchell L. Hanby with honors. I am pleased to announce the candidates in elementary education. Kerry Ann Carlson. Evelyn A. Chabonneau with honors. Karen Lee Correa. Colette M. Datoli. Sarah E. Gordon with high honors. Karen Marie Grading. Elsa Maldonado, also in sign language certificate. Tara Ray Martell with highest honors. Jennifer B. McCann with highest honors. Doreen Mello with honors. Laura Mendes. Patricia Ramos. Lucille Raposa with honors. Sandra Lee Santos with honors. John P. Surrett Jr. with highest honors. John Williams. I am pleased to announce the candidates for engineering technology. Paulo J. Fonseca. John J. Rigo with honors. Michael W. Rodericks. Quinton R. Small. I am pleased to announce the candidates for engineering transfer. Antonio L. Cudo with honors. Robin Lauren Dearman with honors. Benjamin S. Fernandes with honors. Michael Filippi.
Daniel Gavin with highest honors. Stephen A. Lavalley. Paul G. Leet with high honors. Keith Martin Allen with highest honors. Thomas Medeiros with highest honors. Octavio L. Vasconcelos with high honors. I am pleased to announce the candidates for environmental science. Gerald R. Audet. I am pleased to announce the candidates for fire science technology. James M. Allison with honors. David Fernandez Shaves with high honors. Brian Gilbert Medeiros with high honors. Paul J. Medeiros with honors. Keith E. Nicholson. Sean M. Whalen with honors. I am pleased to announce the candidates for general studies. Maria Teresa M. Afonso with honors. Catherine M. Aruda. Christine M. Aruda, sorry. Christy Beth Branco. Carol Lynn Chagalides. Todd Joseph Collins. Melanie S. Con Connell with honors. Lucy Costa. William Anthony DuPont with highest honors. <laughs> Jennifer M. Dolan. <laughs> Kelly Doyle. George M. Duart Jr. <laughs> Stacy Evans. <laughs> Leslie Olivia. Various Samuel P. Fay Barbara A. Fontaine with highest honors Janine Audette Haig also Thanatology Certificate with highest honors Maria Teresa Wandry with highest honors Fernanda Fonseca with honors. Kimberly Fortin. Kizzy Akia Guyton. Donald Bruce Halkett. Ivy Ann Hall with honors. Shana Hebert. Lindsay W. Killo. Brooke L. LaFleur with high honors. Andrea T. Lincoln. Kimberly Ainsworth Mileby with high honors. Maria S. Monas. Debbie Moreira with honors. Mary Quinn with high honors. Anita Sherry Sloan with highest honors. Charlotte Ann Smith. Jessica Staley. Natalia Tavares Lorenko. Patricia P. Tessier, also massage therapy certificate. 
Christy Vieira with honors. Michael John Vieira. I am pleased to announce the candidates for health care information. Amy Lynn Gabral. Donna D. Chase with high honors, also medical coding certificate. Natalie J. DaCosta, also medical coding certificate. Daniel R. Uh, Desmaris with high honors, medical coding certificate and thanatology certificate. Sherry A. Francis. Maggie D. Francisco. Sherry Lynn L. Gauthier with high honors, also medical coding certificate. Gorette Marie Paiva. Tara Szymanski. I am pleased to announce the candidates for human services. Amy J. Austin. Joanne Payakuna with high honors. Amanda J. Dintinsenato with high honors. Donna M. Desnoyers. Rosemary D'Souza. Pamela J. Fogarin with high honors. Cynthia Sarah Ann Gallant. Denise DeBazio Hoyt with honors. Colleen A. Kublin with highest honors. Carrie A. Kupiak. Louise Lomland with honors. Kiang Lee, Jennifer Martins, Marianne Foley Mello with highest honors, Tiffany J. Pinto, Joanne S. Polet with high honors. Janet I. Raposa. Christy Lynn Robbins with honors. Courtney L. Ryan. Tabitha L. Santos with highest honors. Susan Cunningham Solnier. Also, Thanatology Certificate with high honors. Mary D. Stevens with honors. Tanya Marie Tebow. Bernice Ann Tim. Cassandra A. Twyman. I am pleased to announce the candidates in liberal arts. Lisa T. Benson. Melissa Ann Bento with highest honors. Jody L. Berube with honors. Christy D. Batello. Kimberly A. Booten with highest honors. Deidre Joy Bowden with high honors. Joshua Edward Burnell. Cheryl Ann Schwinnard with highest honors. Rebecca Cleveland. Arminio Gabral Carrera. Denise Melanie Kudo with highest honors. 
Gabriel de Oliveira with high honors. Stephanie Dwyer, also Thanatology Certificate with high honors. Kathleen A. Ferreira with honors. Daryl Foreman. <laughs> Stephanie Ann Furtado. Martha Sarah Janus. Joshua H. K. with honors. Pudasong Kunsavakam. Lisa L. Lanzoni with honors. Sarah Ann Mayato, also Thanatology Certificate. Arian Joy Martin. Kimberly A. Matus with highest honors. Dorothy Ann Maynard with highest honors. Bridget Delia Minchowski Hooker with highest honors. Erin Elizabeth Morrissey with honors. Grace M. Murphy with highest honors. Sandra Regina Nunes with high honors. Pamela A. Oliveira with highest honors. Marisol Paez. Joanne Pelletier with highest honors. Kendra Marie Pimentel. Heather E. Raposa. Lucilia Raposa with honors. Melanie D. Rabakoff. Scott B. Reed. David Anthony Rodericks with high honors. Angelin S. Ruona with highest honors. Allison E. Smith. Elizabeth Soares with high honors. Nicholas Pinetto with high honors. Jennifer A. Sullivan with highest honors. Kerry Megan Tripp. Heather Ann Vasconcelos. Paul M. Westner. Jenny Catherine Williams with highest honors. I am pleased to announce the candidates for mechanical engineering technology. Susan P. Corrado with high honors. Robert C. Frazan with high honors. Nathaniel R. P. Hershey with honors. I am pleased to announce the candidates in nursing. Christy M. Aguiar. Sharon Ann Arujo. Scott A. Bertram with honors. Kimberly A. Boudreau. Joanne Marie Brodeur Kerr. Mani Dodges. Marilyn D'Souza. Lori Jean Fillion. Robert M. Folger. Stephanie C. Cardella with honors. Linda J. Gothier with high honors. Laura M. Green with high honors. Patricia Hankins with honors.
Deborah I. Johnson. Stacy Pacheco. Corey B. Paiva. Susan M. Power. Jennifer Lynn Rocha. Jennifer R. Rocha. Sandra Sampson with honors. Renee E. Sanchez. Angela Marie Soares with honors. Ann Louise Souza. Heather, Heather R. Souza with high honors. Diane L. Steck with honors. Amy T. Stoddard with high honors. Rhonda Lee Tanney. Doreen Louise Wade with high honors. I am pleased to announce the candidates and occupational therapy assistant. Paula Aruda with high honors. C Celia A. Bercia with honors. Kimberly Brooke Canning with honors. Wendy A. Dow with high honors. Christine Johnson with honors. Celia Olson with honors. Karen A. Santier with high honors. Christine Shiloh with high honors. I am pleased to announce the candidates in office administration. Brenda Lee Asensio. Aaron E. Cormier with honors. Judith Correa. Devon Lee Kessler with high honors. Wendy Lynn Patricio with high honors. Kathy L. Samento. Elizabeth M. Stone. Michelle Texera. Reagan E. Wood. I am pleased to announce the candidates for pre-professional. Heather A. Chase. Christine M. Costa with high honors. Laria Macedo. Deborah A. Mello. Rosemary O. Ross with highest honors. Joy M. Singleton with highest honors. I am pleased to announce the candidates in theater. Mario Duran. Yvonne M. Rigo with honors. I am pleased to announce the candidates for the certificate uh, in art. Bernice A. Fonseca. I am pleased to announce the candidates for Certificate in Culinary Arts. Nildo Alicio Andrade. Adam C. Cooper. Carl Michael Gastal. Jenny Rebecca Battencourt, also General Studies. I am pleased to announce the candidates in for early childhood education. Mary Betancourt. Stephanie M. Zebio. I am pleased to announce the candidates in electronic multimedia certificate. Lee Ha.
Wing Nation. Amy L. Batello. I am pleased to announce the candidates in instructional aid certificate. Stephanie Manchester Wilkie. Joanne M. Barrett. Medical Assisting Certificate. Amy Melissa Cottrell. Charlene M. Devine. Ann Louise Douglas. Sandra M. Sorodio. Julie Silva. Michelle Tavares. Hallie DiMadeiros. Carol Ann DeMello. Donna Durant. Robin A. Fournier. Glenda G. Gomes. Melissa Marie Rayfield. Crystal Gale Chase. Donna L. Neville. Jessica Rodriguez. The candidates in sign language certificate, Danielle J. Bouvet. Cheryl A. Carpenter. Christine Costa. Humberto Medeiros Souza. Erica Lee Swim. Jill Marie Woodruff. The candidates for Thanatology Certificate, Dennis M. DeBloy. Arlene Linda Kessler. Paul Henry Langloy. Rosemary A. Metcalf. Edna Morin. Congratulations. Raymond Morin. Sister Lorna Ann Redden OP. Angela M. Agia. The candidates in tourism certificate, Colleen Freitas. Priscilla Teresa Paquette. And Erica Perez Medina. Class of 2000. <laughs> this is the most enthusiastic class that ever graduated. I would like to take this time to honor the families of the graduates for the support that they have given. 
Would the graduates please rise and give recognition to your families? Before we have the recessional, I invite you to join us at a reception in the Commonwealth College Center immediately following these exercises. The graduates may pick up their diplomas in person in the College Center cafeteria. Please remain standing until the recessional is complete and all the graduates have left the tent. I now declare these 33rd annual commencement exercises of Bristol Community College to be concluded. I I take exception. Would everyone please stand and say goodbye to Eileen Folly, the heart and soul of BCC for 22 years. We are now concluding.